Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it. The knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot. To finish it, Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 125's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ready, Herb fight. Dean, our Ready. referee for this one. Go. All right, so Alexander Volkanovsky beat Jose Aldo back in 2019. It was part of his historic 22-fight winning streak. Now Aldo, the king of Rio, back at 145 pounds. We'll see what he has for the Volkman tonight. You know, John, very rarely do we sit in awe. We do that with Jose Aldo every single time. What this guy has done over the course of his career is second to none. Alexander Volkanovsky, to his credit, is starting to build a resume that not only matches that, but exceeds the great Jose Aldo. Aldo wanted a rematch. He has worked his way back to it. He needs to cash in today. Fast pace here in the early going. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind him. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fighter at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after time. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. You saw that in his fight against Max, big double leg on the team. He's in half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, nice. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Both fighters get up now. Doubles up on the jab. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Under a minute now to go. Targeting the body with the kick now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Volkanovski. Well, there it is again. He seems to be fighting through the damage pretty well, but even if you're blind, you can see all the red is not. Well, you can see it starting to accumulate. You can see it starting to take an effect on him. For as tough as he is, for as good of a poker face as he has, you can still see it. And right now, he's got to address it because we're about to get to a point where he can't even do anything to stay in this fight. Right. All right, so leg kicks on, leg kicks, the big storyline in that round. DC, take us through the replay. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's Here we it. are, early round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Beautiful job getting those hands up. What a great job getting that kick to the top. Oh, 
beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. All right, so as advertised thus far, as these fighters continue to trade strikes. On point with that jab today. Aldo's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. Nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. All right, so the king of Rio lands yet again, and this is really his bread and butter, the jab mixed in with the low kicks. Beautiful. Very rarely are the stars struck by someone. Jose Aldo still pulls that out of everyone. It is rooted in the fighting style, his ability to mix things up even as he ages in his fight career. The guy is as good as he's ever been as he is at the tail end of his career. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Volkanovski going for the takedown here, but he misses. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Just misses with the left hook. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 73 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And connecting with 46% accuracy tonight, by the way, against Jose Alba. Some nice... So that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go offensively. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, nice straight there by Volkanovski. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Huge block there. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, masterful job by him controlling the range. Another punch lands. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. The numbers 91 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Jose L. Oh, solid kick right there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. He's limping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damage, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back and make the requisite adjustments. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, so I'm not sure if he can take a singular strike to that thigh and stay standing. Remarkable toughness, but this could end soon. Time and time again, this guy talks about, I don't want to be known. Just... Oh, he landed. He heard it. And 
Back to his feet. Left hook, right hand. So pretty good recovery by the... All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Volkanovski's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. to fight on, the question is for how long. Respira, respira. Aí, como a... Você tá bem? Você tá bem, ok? This is happening. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fourth round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Good stick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Volkanovski's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. We might get a stoppage here soon. Back to the feet now. Oh, and he caught the kick. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fight and you see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Beautiful transition. Under three minutes to go in round four. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Herb Dean steps in! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, Jose Aldo, your winner tonight by TKO, and he sort of felt like this particular opponent left some openings, and he certainly closed those tonight. You can't have openings against 